everyone welcome back to my channel today in this video i'm going to be doing another modest fashion video in this video i'm going to be talking about how you can dress the part but it's still all about your heart before you get into this video subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for the information that i'm about to share and i'm also going to be showing you all the outfit that i picked out today as well as a few items that i can pair with it to make it a little bit different so I'm going to get right into what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Being a modest person or a virtuous person isn't just about how you dress because back in the Bible days there were plenty of people that were mentioned to have been righteous and but they looked kind of crazy. Ezekiel was described as being very crazy looking or crazy acting um, but he was indeed righteous and he was indeed of the Most High. Um, so a lot of things have to do with your heart, but modest dressing is just one of those side things, one of those less important things that still is important and definitely necessary. Dressing modestly says a lot about your heart, um, and your mindset and things of that nature. But I wanted to say that you can dress the part, but still not have good things in your heart. So while dressing modestly isn't as important as a lot of bigger aspects of seeking Yah and um, being in a good relationship with him, it still is important. But that doesn't define you because if you dress modestly or virtuously, um, you dress like a Hebrew Israelite or you dress like a Christian or you dress just naturally, you dress modestly, um, that still you could still be a very bad person. You could still have very bad issues in your heart. You could still have very wrong mindsets. So while dressing modestly is indeed important, it doesn't define you or your, what's in your heart. A person could have malice in their heart. They could have hate. They could have jealousy. They could have a lot of things that aren't a part of a virtuous personality. Um, but they could still dress very virtuously. They can dress very modestly. They could dress the entire part of it all. The entire way that um, us as Yah's people should dress. Um, but that doesn't mean that they're a good person. Now, you could have goodness in your heart, but not understand the importance of dressing modestly. And wear something that's not as modest but still be righteous in your heart. You just overlook the importance of dressing modestly because a lot of people have asked me questions about modest dressing and it being important and things of that nature, but um, they're still coming into it. Um, they're just being introduced to the idea of dressing modestly and why it's important. But I'm pretty sure that a lot of you are good people indeed. But um, dressing modestly just brings out that goodness even more. It shows, outwardly, it shows how mindful you are in Yah's word and in his light. So with that being said, I do have a few tips and ideas for those who are still trying to figure out what's modest and what's not so modest and ways that you can pair outfits and have something nice looking to wear. Modesty isn't just about looking nice. While modest fashion, is being modest while being fashionable as well because a lot of people like to look nice and it's no big deal looking nice but modesty isn't about looking nice it's about being modest and keeping yourself covered up and you know having a nice modest personality and vibe about yourself so without further ado i'm gonna go on and get into this outfit that i'm wearing first i just want to show you everything before i go into where i got it from and things of that nature, how I styled it. So first I just chose a nice white scarf. I wore the scarf in the previous video. Um, I just chose this and I made a quick bun on top of my head. I literally just put all my hair in the front like this and then put it, I was about to put it in the ponytail but then I just put the rubber band halfway on the locks to form like this little bun thing and the rest are just sticking out in the back here. So it's just a nice, simple hairstyle. And so 
I got these little pearl earrings to go because I love white and my theme right now is white along with this very colorful dress that I'm wearing so yes I got these earrings and then my nice little this is my favorite necklace has a little pearl right here and the rest is just a little gold chain and then I have a shawl to go with this dress because this dress doesn't have any sleeves of any sort so I had to put the shawl over to keep myself covered and yeah and then I'm just wearing this dress as you all might be able to see it's a nice colorful dress it has a nice print on it flowers and like a little leopard cheetah pattern on here yes I love this dress a lot and I got it from Goodwill as well in my previous modest fashion video I talked about how you can find modest clothes for a cheap price so for those of you who are just coming into this and you know it's going to be quite expensive to change up your whole wardrobe to um, have more modest clothes in your closet. So for those who, who want to be modest but don't have enough right now to go all out and just buy very expensive dresses and shawls and shirts and things of that nature, there are a few places that you can go to to find nice and expensive modest clothes until you can afford to buy something brand new. Um, so yeah, I want to go on and show you different things that I can pair with this dress that will still look nice. Here's another item that you can wear with this type of, with this sort of dress that doesn't have any sleeves. I actually prefer this. This is perfect for like if it's a kind of chilly day or it's like windy out or it's springtime or fall time, you want to be a little bit more warm. This is perfect for that. While you won't get too hot, it allows your body to breathe because of the little holes that's stitched into it. But um, this as well is very nice to have. It still shows your dress in the bottom part. Um, and if you want to have it open like this for style to show your dress, then you can. Or if you want to close it to keep yourself warm and cozy. Um, then yeah you can do so as well I really like this thing you all probably seen it in previous videos modest fashion videos that I've done so yes this is one of my favorite things to pair with outfits because it's nice and modest and yeah it's pretty I love white and the scarf matches it as well so originally when I put this outfit on today I was wearing this my sister gave this to me, my big sister, a while back gave this to me, and I really love this, and yeah, this is really nice, I love it. This is also perfect for if it's still kind of chilly out, it's like a nice spring day or fall day, it's not necessarily like as hot as it would be in summertime. This will keep you nice and cozy, nice and warm and comfortable, but it will also keep yourself covered up as well because it's very necessary. And this isn't really as see-through either, so this is perfect. After the white thing that I was wearing, this will have to be my second favorite to wear with this dress. The only reason why I like the white one a little bit better is because the sleeves aren't as long. So with this one, um, if you're working or you go to wash your hands or something, it's more likely to get in the way, get wet. I like to just roll it up a little bit when I'm wearing it so I can be a little bit more comfortable and I could move and do things as I need to. So yes, I love this and although the scarf still looks nice, I actually prefer another color scarf if I'm going to be wearing something black with this dress. So underneath, since I was originally wearing this black thing with it, um, underneath I have another color scarf. And since this dress has a little splash of green in there, I was wearing this green scarf. <coughs> which I think matches quite well. And to bring it all together, instead of these pearl earrings, I had my clip ones that I was wearing in my previous Modest Fashion video. I really love these, they're easy to wear. And yeah, these have a little splash of green and like orange slash red, more like scarlet and beige, brownish, gold. So it really matches the dress and the, the green that's in the scarf and it kind of brings it all together plus the gold in both my earrings and my necklace. So yes, this was originally what I was wearing today and 
Um, there's just a lot of different things that you can pair with this dress to make it different each time you wear it. So while you can add a lot to your wardrobe or add a lot to change up a specific outfit or a part of an outfit that you have, you can't do that with your life. You know how you can go in the closet and you can grab a different jacket or a different shawl or a different scarf or a different pair of earrings or a different pair of shoes to kind of change up what you're wearing. Make it something new. You can't do that with your life. If you try to go all out and do big things to make your life a little bit different, to change your life, and you don't seek yeah, you'll end up in situations that you don't want to be in. Um, like moving for instance or getting a new job or adding new people to your life new friends you have to seek yeah with those sort of things because you can end up in situations and circumstances that you just don't want to be in and most times when we try to go all out outside of Yao's will doing things and trying to change things in our life ourself without seeking yeah and asking for his go ahead then we'll end up in places that we just don't want to be in. And it's not wise to do so. A lot of times people, they get bored and they get impatient. They begin to want something new for their life. They begin to want a change in their life. And so they step out and do something that's outside of Yao's will. And then they reap the consequences that most times aren't even worth it once you you're in a situation that you don't want to be in, but you also got to attain something that you desired. Whereas if you just seek Yah, seek his will, and and then he blesses you, that is much more rewarding. That's why the Bible says to seek ye first the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. And so a lot of times we have to realize that that scripture is indeed true. If we're always putting our mind to what we want and trying to change our own life without seeking Yah first, um, seeking Yah, making sure what we're asking for and what we're trying to get, what our desires are on, are of His kingdom and of His righteousness, then we'll look up and we'll be sinning. We'll look up and we'll be acquiring things that isn't of His will. Most times those things aren't of His will. But if we seek His will, seek his righteousness, seek his kingdom, will acquire things that are of him, that are righteous, and that are good for us to have. Just like with an outfit that you're wearing, most times if you're wearing a simple dress, there are a lot of scarves and different shawls and things that you can add to make it look better. There's a lot of things that go with it. There's a lot of things that fit. Just like in your life, there's a lot of things that go with what you desire they fit perfectly with your life. People that seem to be the perfect friend for you. A house that might seem to look like the most perfect house for you. But that doesn't mean it is for you. A lot of times, some people wear outfits and clothes and things that doesn't really quite fit their style. It doesn't quite go with their personality. That doesn't mean it's not nice. That doesn't mean they can't have it. But with your life, there's a lot of things that fit, that seem to fit so well, that seems to go so well. But if they're not of Yah, if they're not blessings from Yah, if it's not what He gave you, and it's something that you're trying to acquire on your own, all outside of His will to get, it doesn't matter if it fits. You'll still reap, most times, bad consequences if you step outside of His will. So, even if it's something that you think goes perfectly, even if you think it's something that was perhaps meant to be, that doesn't mean it was by Yah's standards. So that's why it can look the part, but that doesn't mean it is. It can look the part. It can look like it's perfect for you, like it's 100% for you. But if you're not seeking out and making sure that it is, then you can end up with a cursing instead of a blessing. You'll be thinking that this particular thing is the best, like the best blessing that you can get but it can turn out to be the worst cursing that you can ever receive if you don't see seek Yah because something can be one person's blessing but it could be your cursing depending on what type of situation you, you're in depending on what your relationship is like with Yah some things just aren't for you even if they're good things just like 
while things are normally a sin, if Yah tells you to do it, then it's no longer a sin to you. It's just you following Yah's orders. So just like we have the Ten Commandments and all the commandments of the Bible and all of that, if Yah tells you to do something other than what was in a, the Bible, then that's a command to you and that's something you have to follow. It's the same with our life. If he gives you something, then that's yours. But if he says no for something that's perfectly, that seems perfectly fine for you to have, then no, it's just not for you. And you can end up messing up your own life and getting into situations that you don't want to be in if you step outside of his will and disobey his word, trying to simply change your life up, trying to simply add things to your life that just wasn't a part of y'all's will. So with that being said, I hope you all stay mindful and stay prayerful and stay modest and fashionable and virtuous. With all that being said, I hope the information in this video was helpful. Um, let me know if it was in the comment section below. I also want to answer any questions that you all may have. So if you have a question, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. So with that being said, stay tuned for more videos like this. Check out my description box where there's more information and also visit my community. I haven't been posting over there much, but yeah, well, then I'll get back to that. So with that being said, don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and like. Thanks for watching.